Welcome to AppSec EU Belfast. My name is Gary Robinson. I'm one of the chairs of this conference, and we welcome you here to our little walkable city in Belfast. Uh, just FYI, I've been given a, a, one of these forward and back slide pointers, and there's a button on it that says black, which I've been told do not touch. So if I accidentally press the wrong button and everything goes off, you'll know I've done something wrong. For anybody who's Irish here and knows Father Dougal, I'm so tempted to press the button just to see what happens. But we'll, we'll try and avoid that. So I'm just going to give a very quick, short address, more about the logistics of the conference, and then we're going to move on to our first keynote. So as I said, welcome to Belfast. Um, a lot of people we talked to this week, is this their first time in Belfast, so that's a great thing to add another city to your list. I actually found out on Wednesday that Belfast started or was a city or became a thing in 1604, which was news to me. Um, we started with uh, the flax and linen industry and then went on to shipbuilding, which of course resulted in the things like the Titanic. And now we've uh, diversified in lots of other things, including IT. Um, a couple of days ago, somebody from a local university, Queen's University, uh, told me the kind of phrase, which was how we've come from ships to chips with IT. And I thought that's quite nice, quite a nice wee, uh, saying, but it doesn't really include cybersecurity. So I think what we're going to do is try and coin a new phrase, saying we came from flax to hacks. But I don't know if that's going to catch on. I'll, I'll come back to you on that. So everybody should have received their badge. You will need these around the conference venue. We'll be asked if you don't have one, so please keep this on you if you can. If you haven't received it, obviously downstairs in registration is where you should have uh, uh, got it. The venue plan. What we have on this floor is the four main tracks of the conference. Right now you're in the hacker room, which is room 1A. Next, year's, next door is going to be the developer room. Further on the other side of the corridor, you then have the CISO and the DevSecOps tracks. There'll be TVs outside the door telling you what's on inside the room and what track it is, so that should help you go around. Note that in the middle here, we then have our sponsor area. That's where the lunch, that's where the coffee will be served, the breaks, the morning break and the afternoon break. And it's also where you can get to talk to all our uh, very kind sponsors. Upstairs, two flights up in floor three, is where we have the uh, members lounge for anybody in OWASP, not showing there, but also any of speakers. The green room is up there where you can upload your slides and where you can uh, liaise with each other. We also have the lightning rooms talk up there and the capture the flag is in 2B. In uh, room number three, we have the Hack Pro All Stars, which has actually already started, where Mario, Mike and the other guys have uh, set up a conference within a conference. You're free to move around there and you're free to uh, attend that conference if you want. They have a couple of extra added uh, treats in that room, which I won't describe, but uh, so, uh, there's something there. Just FYA, on the, if anybody hasn't been to these type of conferences before, you do not have to stay on one track. You're absolutely free to move around and uh, experience any of the tracks, any of the talks you want to do. So the schedule uh, is in your notes, in your, uh, your conference brochure. Everybody should just receive one in your bag. If you didn't, please go down and ask for a registration. You can get one. For anybody from the UK and recognizes uh, the Blockbusters theme that we used, that's not part of the competition. You don't have to go from left to right. Uh, you probably have to be old enough to remember that as well. But this is the, essentially what we have set up for, this, for today and for tomorrow. Tonight is the conference dinner. I just want to mention that. It's in the Titanic building, which is about, well, it's, oh, okay. I was going to say 15 minutes down the road, but it's uh, 20 minutes down the road. It's a mile over uh, um, along the river. Easy walking distance, but if you want to uh, take a taxi or take a bus or take a taxi across there, you can. 6.45 for the drinks reception to start, 7.30 to go upstairs into the Titanic suite, where we're going to have our buffet dinner and a bit of entertainment. Um, one thing to keep in mind, you need to have either your conference badge or the gala dinner tickets to be able to attend that event. So if anybody ordered gala tickets online as part of the registration or if anybody has bought them downstairs as part of the registration, make sure you pick these up, make sure you bring these with you to be able to attend that event. There's a map on the back of the gala ticket to let you know exactly where you need to go. So if you need help, there are plenty of people around here to give you a hand. There's people in uh, orange or sunset t-shirts for the OWASP uh, volunteers. They have been briefed on what's going on and they can give you assistance either finding your way around or contacting anybody else if you need a hand. Also, the waterfront staff are on hand to give any help that is necessary. 
I've been told, uh, I've been asked to say that there's no fire alarms being planned for today or tomorrow. So if there is a fire alarm or hear any alarms, then follow the instructions of the, the waterfront staff who can help you there. And one last thing on help, we, for the speakers in the individual rooms, you will find at the back of the room after the presentation has been given, blue and red cards. And that's essentially for you to help the speaker by evaluating whether you thought the presentation was good or bad. Put in the red card if you thought it needed to be improved or a red, uh, blue card if you thought it was very good. Our speakers have asked us to include that there so they can get some feedback from the attendees on the quality of the presentations. Social media, so please spread the word with AppSecEU and the OWASP hashtag, um, either on Twitter or, Twitter or whatever you're going to use. And I can't remember what I put it in for. What is that for? Sorry? Certificate, that's it, thank you very much. Certificates. <laughs> Um, some people have asked, can they have certificates to prove they attended the conference and obviously for CPEs, etc. So if anybody requires this, tomorrow afternoon down at registration, you can pick up these certificates to prove you attended the two-day conference. Thank you. <laughs> In terms of the sponsors, we have this passport program. This You can win a, a cool wee drone if you get this filled out and uh, win the competition. Essentially, take this card that's already part of your pack. You'll find that in your uh, registration pack. Take that to the sponsors, get it stamped, prove you spoke to them, spoke, prove you uh, had a conversation with them, and then we'll put those, all these in a hat tomorrow afternoon, choose a winner, and they'll get the drone to play with. So thank you to our sponsors, without whom this would not be possible, so we thank them. And at that, I now have the pleasure of getting off the stage without having pressed the black button. I'm so tempted. But what I'm going to now do is introduce you to our first keynote speaker, Shannon Letts, who uh, has, uh, is going to speak to us on DevSecOps. So Shannon Letts, please.